الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد إن شاء الله جل وعلا we will start again our class عقيدة الواسطية الشيخ إسلام بن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى طيب We'll ask, inshallah, a couple of questions about last <coughs> class and we'll go forward, inshallah, ta'ala, get the new class tonight. We don't want to take so long for the revision tonight, inshallah. Why did we start last time, you know, with the word of Sheikh? وَهُوَ الْإِيمَانُ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ We would like to ask, what is the Iman? Lower than, linguistically, what does it mean, Al Iman? Now, interesting, uh, that contains belief. Now, Barakallahu Fi. Say that again. And interesting, that contains belief. Now, at Tasqib, huh? الذي يتضمن الإقرار، okay. هذا هو الإيمان، إيمان سم الشاعرة or other people of the المرجئة when they want to define إيمان and basically they said is a تصديق جهمية المعتزلة and uh, المرجئة all of them. He said, Iman is a tasbih. Lughatan was tilaha. Tasbih. And that's what they know. Tayyib. What about in the shara? What does mean Iman in the shara? And the man? Who's going to answer that? Speech, belief in the heart, and the actions of the limb. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Or is that it? Is that yes, say that again. Clearly. No, so do look up very clearly. The speech, uh -huh. belief in the heart, and the actions of the limbs. Article of it contains three things the Iman in the Shah. Huh? And not for the Nisan. Would you, you know, uh, speak? Through your time, but the Iman. That you believe in your heart. And, well, Amalu bil Jawari. That you act upon all your lips. Means, Al Amal, well, Al Amal bil Akan, well, Paul bil Lisan. That's the, the right definition of Aqeelat Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. Any Iman who contains these three elements, that person's Iman is correct. In Aqeelat Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah. But if someone denies one of the, these three elements, is Iman is not right Iman. For example, the Burja, they said what? Al Iman al Qawla bil Nisan, Fatiqad bil Gandas. They said the action is not part of the Iman. So if you pray, you don't pray. If you fast, you don't fast. You go ahead or you not go ahead, you do the haram or you not do it, has nothing to do about your iman. Your iman is that way. We forget to mention another uh, definition for the iman in the Sunnah wal Jama'ah that the iman increase and decrease. Al-Imam Yazidu, write down, this also is also very important. 
الإمام يزيد وينقص إيمان decreases and reaches highest level if you do the good and خير and decreases if you do the mistakes and the dhunub and the ask you commit so much dhunub your iman will decrease until goes the the bottom line that's the bottom line if you go below the the, the level then you don't have iman at all that's the Aqid what? Ahl al-Sunnah for Jamaah. Al-Imam Yazidu wa Yanqus. Al-Imam Qawr wa Amar wa Atiqar. Remember that. It's very crucial. Because vegan sects, they don't believe that the Iman increases or decreases. They said Iman is a one level. If you believe in Allah and Messenger of Allah and you believe hereafter, that's it. Your Iman and Iman of Jibreel and Muhammad and all the Prophets are same, is it? So, so the what they said that is the Iman is a one level. That's against all the dalil, all the proofs that came from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We'll go another. That what itself, the Iman itself was written books by the ulama. Shaykh Salman Taymiyyah has a really books about the Iman. And then the way of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. There is a Mu'tazila, there is a Khawarij, there is a Murji'ah. There is a, so much groups who has a different uh, ideology about the Iman. But it comes, inshallah ta'ala, next time. Al Iman of Billahi, we said Iman of Billahi contains how much? Was the Iman Billah believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh huh. Three. Uh, there are four. Uh, four things? Four things. One is the Christian. Believe in his existence. Existence. Uh, uh, the other one is believe in his uh, Yes. Uh, lordship. His lordship is a rububiyya. Rububiyya. Uh, that is divided into three three uh -huh. categories. Uh, that says that he creates, sustains, and he controls them. Yeah, the rububiyya has what? Say that again. So the first has three uh, three parts of it where. Allah creates, mm -hmm. all, uh, and then He sustains them, mm -hmm. nourishes them, and then He controls them. Barakallahu feek. That's wonderful. What does mean the Rabb? Al Rabbu wa Al Khaliq, Al Razif, Al Malik, Al Mudabbar. That's the Rabb. The means of Rabb is the one who created and sustained His creation and controls it. That's the meaning of the Rabb. Lahu al-Mulk, Allahu Khaliq, Kulli Shayi. Tayyip. Al-Rububiyya. Okay, what else? We mentioned the existence of Allah existence. and His Lordship, is al rububiyya And then existence of the Uluhiyya. His Uluhiyya. What does mean Uluhiyya, brothers of God? Um, huh? Divinity. Divinity, yes. Which means to worship, worship him alone. Now, Uluhiyya means, when we say Tawheed, Uluhiyya, the Iman of Uluhiyya means he is alone deserves to be worshipped. Which means, Arrubiyya is the action of Allah toward his creation. Right? Allah will create, Allah will send rains, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the action of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His creation. But the Uluhi is what? Our own 
action toward Allah, which means of our ibadat, our worship goes one direction, which is only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the difference, right? Between Tawheed al Rububiyya and Uluhiyya. Af'al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala khalqi wa rububiyya. Af'al al khalq wa ibadatu li khalqihim wa ma'budihim al wahid wa al uluhiyya. Here the ibadah. Ma'budu wa ma'bud. Tayyib. Al uluhiyya wa rububiyya and Al asma'u wa sifat is names and attributes. That's the Imam we got. We believe all his names. How many names Allah has? It? Huh? That's what we mentioned in the Sunnah. It's more than 900, right? It's 100. The, the, the names of Allah is uncountable. But the Prophet said, Inna lillahi tis'an wa tis'in asman man ahsaha dakhal al-jannah. Allah has it. And nine names, anyone who preserve them, they will enter the Jannah. Okay. How did you reconcile with these two names? Naam? When you said that Allah's names are innumerable, you cannot count them. And then the Sunnah says, Naam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has a 99, they said, Al-Adadu la mafhuma lah. Allah has 99, it doesn't mean he doesn't have 100 or 200 or 300, okay? 99 goes into the number, and uh, it's a part of the number that Allah has, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this number was chosen, you know, by the purpose of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, but it's not the, the only names he has. وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا And the Prophet وسلم, said, Huh? When he was communicating with the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma inni abduta bin abduta bin al-maik and nasiyati biyadik, ma'adu fi ya khutbuka adu fi ya ghadarabka, as'aluka Allahumma bi kulli ismin huwa lakha, sammayta bihi nafsak, aw anzaltahu fi kitabik, aw alamtahu ahadam min khalqik, aw istatharta bihi fi ilmi ghaybi indik. Some of the names of Allah is madam is kept in, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not revealed to nobody. And another degree for that is the hadith al Shafa'a, the Shafa'a al Udma, the great intercession that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will honor his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the day of judgment when all the the, the creature, creation of Allah came together one place and they stood up for long waiting the, 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 the judgment of Allah. People will come to the prophets <coughs> asking them to make intercession to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah can judge the, the, the uh, uh, event. And you know the hadith, the prophet وسلم, ultimately will accept from the people to go toward Allah and make the shafa'a. And the hadith says, he will make sujood under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will open for him so many eh, muhammad wal madaih. Allah will open for him new knowledge for the names and attributes of Allah. So he will use that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his intercession and Allah will accept so that also is a belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has names and attributes which do not appeal to one of his creation. He will be the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that time. So the, the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more than 99, right? Tayyip. Any question of that? Tayyip. al malaika the angels. Who they are? The Malaik. Are they from the Alam al Ghaib and Alam al Shahada? 
عالم النبي unseen world they are part of the unseen world you don't you cannot have contact but they exist that's why it's a part of the our faith and iman right طيب what they were created from light from what and no from the light yes are from the or was created from the human being hmm? from the dust from clay yes what about the jinn from the fire what is the dream shaitan i am shaitan that you made from fire ha khalaqtani min nar wa khalaqtahu min teen when he was objecting the the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his the, the malaika to make sujood for Adam he rejected the beast and he said because why I'm, I am better than him he was created from the trap and I was created from where? from now is it not better than the team? Uh, that's the qiyas in the you cannot oppose all time the command of Allah by your aql and by your intellect. That's what happened to Iblis. Okay? Allah commanded him to follow the order of Allah without objection. All the malaika, they, they fall frustration down by obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Iblis said, No, I'm not going to do it. SubhanAllah, and he became cursed. So today it's the same thing. So many people are objecting Allah's command from the Quran, from the Sunnah, saying, I, I, I don't want it, I, I don't, I can't understand this, and this again is my intellect. So it goes the way of the shaitan, rejecting the, the Quran and Sunnah, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Malaika, are they male or female? Neither. Neither. What was the dream? I. I shared it with them. And they took the shahad to whom they said. Wa jaalu. Wa jaalu malaika the ladies who were there. Hum ibad al Rahmani. Inatan. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "The kufar of Quraysh." They named the angels of Allah as what? <coughs> Females. In Adam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejected them and said, Ashahidu khalqahum. Did they witness when Allah was created by the females? Satuktahu shahalatuhum wa yus'aluhum. On top of their kufr, these will be questioned also. The falsehood that they said about angels. So they're not females nor male. If there can be any belief for that, their creation. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the ability to uh, transform their bodies when they want to contact the human being, like a Jibreel when it comes to the, the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used to transform to the human body. And that time you'll be like, man. That will mention the Quran also. Allah Jalla wa Ala, He said, when they com com complain to this Kufar Quraysh, how Allah can send to us a human being like us? Why He don't send angels to us? Kullu kuntum tamshuna, madakan al Uh, that's the, that's the uh, understanding, a uh, question about the law of But my I ask, Walau arsal, walau ja'alnahum malakan, la ja'alnahum rajulan, wala lawasna alayhim, ma yalmisun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
he were sent an angel as a messenger, we would have given him an image of the human being, of, of the man. And he would have the causes like they have. So they can see the human being. Because there is no way we can read the angels the way Allah can get them. We cannot really handle their image. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Surah Al-Isra mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala مُطْمَئِنِّينَ لَنَزَلْنَا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَلَكَ رَسُولُ قُلْ لَوْ أَنْتُمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَلَائِكَةٌ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَلَائِكَةٌ لَوْ كَانَ had angels huh? في الأرض ملائكة in this planet same angels يمشون they walk and live like you do as a human being had you become مُطْمَئِنِّينَ you know, normal and just something normal that you live with the, with the angels, the same planet. Huh? What is it called? We have given them to them the Lord of the Lord. If we can handle talking with the angels and seeing their image that Allah gave them, the messengers will be, will have you what? Them angels. But we cannot be, you know, mutmainin. Cannot be uh, what we call. We cannot have rest and tranquility with contacting with the angels. Right? So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made these messengers among us from the uh, human. Now, they have names and they have uh, jobs that we, we will not, will not go right now because time is gonna. طيب الإيمان بكتب الله وكتبه what is a كتب books of Allah that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has what revealed to the previous nation previous nation yes now how many kitabs was named in the Quran four one four Torah, Injil, Zabur, Quran, Quran, Barak Allah. Zabur was, or which nation was it? Zabur was given by Nabi Yilahi Dawood, David, was born of Israel, the children of Israel. Okay. Suhuf Ibrahim, they said, is just, now, Suhuf Ibrahim, it's called Ramila Ibrahim. The Suhuf of Musa is just Torah. Suhuf Ibrahim just was mentioned Suhuf, but it was not named. But Allah gave him every prophet, kitab. Right? وَإِن مِنْ أُمَّةٍ إِلَّا خَلَى فِيهَا نَبِيهِ Salaam alaykum shalom. Salaam alaykum shalom. Israel, is, is, that, uh, is that Israel, is that one of the names of uh, Yaqub Islam, is that, is that what it means, the children of Yaqub Islam? Children of Yaqub, if you, if, you, if, you, if you hear, Bala Israel is the children of Israel, which means children of Nabi Lahi, Yaqub, Yaqub, Jacob, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a name also in the Quran, that's name, that name, Israel. Huh? Surah Al Imran. كل الطعام كان حلا لبني إسرائيل إلا ما حرم إسرائيل على نفسه من قبل أن تنزل التوراة. قل فأتوا بالتوراة فاتلوها إن كنتم صادقين. He was before before موسى and before عيسى. So that's the Zabur. And he was given a beautiful, beautiful voice from the Billahi that would and when whenever he recites the Zabur, very beautiful, they said uh, all the mountains and birds they really came and supplicate Allah with him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Surah Mada. 
And he has Quran's eye. Who remembers that eye? Ya Jibalu Awibi Ma'ahu Wa Tayyar Wa Alanna Lahu Al Hadid. Allah gave him, gave him so much you know, blessing from Nabi Dawood. He was a king and he was a prophet also. He was also, uh, he has had some skills to, to how to make the, the shield for the battlefield. I uh, think I had a doubt or no? Yaqub and Dawood are big friends. We're just mixing them. Now, I have a Dawood and Yaqub are different. I'm, I'm mixing with Dawood right now because Dawood is the one who has a huh? Zabur now. Now, for the love of Okay. Anyway. Wa Rusulihi, the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وبالبعث بعد الموت وبالقدر خيره وشره البعث is what huh? resurrection الله will resurrect all the خلق creation all of them they can die and then they will be resurrected all of them even the animals will be resurrected is there any belief for that? Not only human beings will be resurrected and jinn. Allah will settle the scores between the uh, between everyone. A shot. The, 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 the. He, will, he will resurrect him and settle the scores and then he will tell them to beat us. And that the, the kuffar, the believers will say, with that I, I will be, I will die. That's how you, but there's ayah. What is the wuhushu hushira? All the uh, wild animals, all the you know uh, things that are created out of the human being, they will be also resurrected. Now, that's Yom al Ba'ath. It has so many names. Yom al Ba'ath, uh huh. Yom al Qiyamah. Uh huh. Yom al Din. Uh huh. Yom al Hizab. Yom al Tanad. Yom al Tanad. Uh huh. Al Tawab. Uh huh. Now, this is a lot of Latin names for that day. Subhanallah. Obil Qadari Khayrihi wa Shakri. Okay, we'll stop right there, but we go to new Ashab in the light ta'ala. And this Ashab, and this will be really very important. The Sheikh will explain the Aqeed and the Sunnah wal Jama'ah related to the, the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a one principle. If you understand this kind of principle that the Sheikh will mention it, then you uh, understand the Aqeedah and the Sunnah wal Jama'ah in the, the field of Asma wa Sifat. Al Asma wa Sifat is the biggest field that the Ummah was divided into. How we can name Allah these names, how we can achieve this. Uh, attributes, attributes to Allah. We have so much, so much, so much of sex. <clears throat> and we have Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, those who remain the Aqeel Salaf al Salih al Wal Alayhi. So the Shaykh will, will tell us the Qa'idah, the foundation of this Aqeedah. Once we understand this, then you understand the rest of the and we don't have never a problem how to accept the sifat of Allah and Asma'i. And Shaykh said, Rahmanullah. Wa minal imani billah 
الإيمان بما وصف به نفسه ووصف به رسوله محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم طيب أن السيد شيخ رحمه الله تعالى and it is from the Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have Iman in what Allah has described himself within his book and what his Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has described him with this is the first rather the beginning of the Qa'idah الإيمان بما وصف به نفسه ووصف به رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم الإيمان بما وصف به نفسه الله سبحانه وتعالى is the one who will give himself these descriptions these sifat these attributes no one can give Allah or attribute to him anything that did not come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that did not come from the Quran or that which our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described to him so then al-asma'u-sifat the names and attributes we will take from the, the source of the Quran and the Sunnah that's it anyone who described Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or rather his, his names or attributes without the Quran or Sunnah is considered what? Falsehood and bid'ah. Okay. So that's why this really very strong principle that we will never ever give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sifa or attributes or characteristics that we do not come in the Quran or the Sunnah. So that's mafhum here, upon us of and stood, right? Tayyip. <clears throat> and he said after that, مِنْ غَيْرِ تَحْرِيفٍ وَلَا تَعْطِيلٍ وَمِنْ غَيْرِ تَحْيِيفٍ وَلَا تَنْفِيلٍ First of all, he said, Ma'adha Shaykh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, after he said, we attribute to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala only that which he attributed himself or attribute his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to him. And he said, Min ghayri tahrif Without changing or alteration or Mother deviation, the meaning, tahrif means that you don't take the word as it is. Rather, it's a person who dislikes this word to be described to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, what is he going to do? He will change differently, different way. We'll talk about the tahrif. And we'll talk about also At-Ta'qeel And we'll talk about At-Takyeef And Tamthil These four uh, Terminologies are very important At-Tahrif Without Tahrif And without Ta'qeel And without Takyeef And without Tamthil when we attribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any name or attribute, you have to keep in mind Allah subhanahu wa azza wa jalla, whatever He gives names or attributes, it belongs to Him without these. But let's keep Sayyid Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala. بل يؤمنون بالله ليس كمثل شيء وهو السميع البصير. Rather they believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى ليس كمثل شيء. No one can resemble him or nothing can resemble him سبحانه وتعالى. And he is the same 
and Basil. All here and all here. Here. Time. Let's go to this Tahrim uh, and Tahdim. قال الشيخ رحمه الله تعالى فمن جحد صفات الله سبحانه وتعالى فمن جحد صفات الله سبحانه وتعالى فليس بمؤمن anyone who denies the attributes of Allah سبحانه وتعالى is not a woman because Allah has names and attributes Allah has what names and attributes which his name is beautiful and his attributes is what? It's perfect. Sifat, Sifat al Kamal, wa Asma al Husna. Lahu Sifat al Kamal, wa Jalal, wa Lahu Asma al Husna. Anything he attributes himself is a perfect Sifat. He never had any uh, uh, insufficient or uh, any you know, uh, uh, defects or anything. Allah is free from all this. Any sifat that Allah took to himself is imperfect. Fine. And he said, don't deny any sifat that Allah gave to himself. And Shaykh said, وَهُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ بِالرَّحْمَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he named himself Ar-Rahman. The Mushrikun, what they did? They denied the word of Rahman. Allah said, وَهُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ Bil Rahman and Rahman is one of the names of Allah. Allah Jalla wa Ala said in another ayah, Ulidu Allah, our Ish, Ar Rahman, Fala will Asma al Husman. Either you name Allah or you name Ar Rahman, Allah has what? Asma al Husman. بما وصف به نفسه ووصف به رسوله قال الشيخ إثبات أن صفات سبحانه وتعالى إنما تتلقى من السمع لا بآراء الخلق فصفاته سبحانه وتعالى مبنية على التوقيف فلا يوصف إلا بما وصف به نفسه أو وصف به رسوله means all the sifat all the asma is called what توقيف means no one can name anything or deny anything he named himself. Rather, we will name anything he named himself or any sifat he gave to himself. قال Imam Ahmad رحمه الله Imam Ahmad بن حنبل Imam Ahl al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah قال لا يوصف الله إلا بما وصف به نفسه أو وصف به رسوله Imam Ahmad said رحمه الله تعالى what the Sheikh Salah has said لا يوصف الله no one attribute Allah سبحانه وتعالى any sifat except that which that he gave himself or that which he gave his messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and he said لا يجاوز القرآن والحديث no one can exceed by giving Allah names or attribute the Quran or Sunnah you should have the lead from the Quran and from the Sunnah if you attribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any sifat or any name, right? So that first qaida, first principle, the Quran was sunnah only. No qiyas, no ijma, no nothing. Only these two what? Two dalils, two evidence, the Quran and sunnah. He said, Imam Ahmad Hanbal, la yutajawaz al Quran was sunnah. No one can exceed. Quran and Sunnah in terms of giving Allah names and attributes. Okay. Ibn Qayyim rahimahu Allah has said something. Qal Ibn Qayyim rahimahu Allah in the Badaya. Imam Ibn Qayyim has said in his book, he spoke Al Badaya. Ma yutlaqa alayhi fi baab al asma'i wa sifat tawqifi. مَا يُطْلَقُ عَلَيْهِ فِي بَابِ الْأَخْبَارِ لَا يَجِبُ أَنْ يَكُونَ تَوْقِيْفِيًّا كَالشَّيْءِ الْمَوْجُودِ وَالْقَدِيمِ وَنَحْوَ ذَلِكَ He mentioned something very important in the Qayyim Rahimahu Allah We said Al-Asma wa Sifa is really Tawqif Tawqif means only Allah and His Messenger can 
with Allah's inscription and names. But sometimes he said, we will terminate when he said of Allah, we can name Shay or he's a Mawju or Qadim. And these are not names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not in the Quran and the Sunnah that Allah was named in Mawju or Qadim or Shay. But it says Ba wa Ikhbar. Ikhbar means you just tell about Allah, but you're not naming him. So Allah has exist. Allah Mawjud. What is the Asma'i? Mawjud. But right now you're telling that Allah has exist. Ba wa Ikhbar, Awsaq, and Ba wa Sifat. They said in the, this field, Ba'u al-Ikhbar is a little bit, was given us room to, you know, talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to tell somebody that Allah exists, you said, Allah is a mawjud. Allah exists. When you say this, you're not giving Allah the name of mawjud or the name of sifa of mawjud, something like that. But you, you just tell someone, Allah is a qadim. You want to, want to tell someone that Allah has no point that he start from it. So we said Allah is what? What they call? Eternal, right? Allah Azari. He, he doesn't have a point that he start from. It. No. We cannot imagine it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever exists. Right? So you want to say a word like that, Hu Qadim. You want to tell someone Allah ever exists? He said, Allah Qadim. When you say Qadim, you're not giving an attribute because Qadim is not part of the names of Allah or, or Sifat, something like that. So Ibn Qayyim will, you know, differentiate between the Sifat, Ba'u Sifat, and Ba'u Akbar. This is another Naam. So the Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawqifiyya. What does it mean, Tawqifiyya, Huwanna? Quran Sunnah. Only the Quran Sunnah. We take from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from his messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. Tayyip. Min ghayr tahrifi. We attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hadhi al-asma, these names and these sifat, min ghayr tahrifi. Without changing or deviating or alteration for the the word of sifat will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala attribute to him as it comes from the Quran and from the Sunnah. Okay? What does mean tahrif? Shaykh rahimahullah here said tahrif is a tahrif, gentle. And tahrif is a two types. تغيير اللفظ تغيير معنى changing from the word to word or you change the, the meaning of the sifa some people they don't want to accept the sifa but they see this came from the Quran so what they do they like a, there, there's there is a four major schools as, as some people say some people so called Jahmiyyah Jahmism and Mu'tazilism and Al Al Ashara Al Maturidiyya these the Firaq are really too, too much, but they go to the four major ideas. Ashab al-Ta'qeel wa Ashab al-Tahrif wa Ashab al-Talfir wa Ahl al-Sunnah wa al-Jama'ah. These four major uh, ideas that, 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 that are related to the Ashab al-Sunnah. What was the third one? For Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The one before. Talfiq al Ashara. Take the Ashara. They call it Talfiq. We will explain that, inshallah. 
But the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came to the Quran and Sunnah, the Ummah of Islam has, you know, uh, uh, become a firaq. And these firaq, we can, we can categorize by four major. The Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Ashabu, Hakim, the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Ashabu Salaf Salih, people who followers of Salaf Salih in the in this Bab Bab Al Asma wa Sifat. So called Al Asma wa Sifat. What they said, these people, they believe every Sifat, every attribute that came from Allah and His Messenger, they attribute to Allah as it is. And without the harif, without ta'atid, without huh? tamthil, taqif, without the shweet of, of, of tamthil. But that's aqid al sunnah wal jama'ah. The second part is the jahmiyyah. Jahmiyyah, how they deal with the asma' Allah and sifat. They deny the names of Allah and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. They said we cannot name Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these names. We cannot give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these asifat, these attributes. If we did that, they said, we resemble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the his creation. And they said that's not right then. So what we're going to do, we deny all the names and all the attributes. Now. So we understand that by denial of the meaning, they do that by tahrif and not by uh, takzib of the Quran. Because if they had done the takzib of the Quran, that would mean, that, that would constitute an action of disbelief. But how do they deny the names of Allah, saying that these names are not applicable to Allah? Because look, they, they call the ulama al-mu'abbila. أهل التعطيل الشيخ هي ليش وقت من غير التحريف ولا تعطيل الجهمية is a people of تعطيل والداس من التعطيل if you look at تعطيل what they said علماء تعطيل the language is to weave ماذا يسأل he neglected or left. The meaning have uh, what I thought. The intended meaning of it here is the denial of Allah's attributes. That's what it's ta'bir. Means they, they, they deny this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs these names to him. They not deny Allah, but they deny the names and attributes. And they said Allah is free from that. His creation resembled him by names and by the attributes. For example, your name is Aziz. We cannot name Allah Aziz. He said, said Allah is Aziz, and you're Aziz. There is a tashbih to Allah, al khalq to khali. Okay, we cannot say Allah is no jud. Allah has exist. If we say Allah has exist, and we said, his creation also exists. We resemble to Allah is what? His creation. So what are we gonna say? They said we don't say he exists and we don't say he don't exist. They chose something even we cannot adult cannot huh, understand how you can get something is a module, is exist, and at the same time it don't exist. That's contradiction. That's tanaqul. That's the methodology of what? To whom? Huh? That's, that's the aqidah of Ahlul Ta'atil with his jahmizm. Are you with me, guys? <laughs> I see some people lost. <laughs> we said, التحريف والتعطيل 
or taqib, why Shaykh said that? Because some people don't really, you know, take that way. Some people, they dealt with the names of Allah and his attributes in a way of ta'qib. And those, we have to know who, who are they. These people so-called what? al jahmiya Huh? Shaykh, what's it? Who are, who are an example of, of uh, tahrif? At tahrif? We'll mention tahrif. Tahrif? Those people, they don't deny the word, but that they do tahrif, they change the word, they add it up, or they catch part of it, so we will have different name, different meaning. But is there a sect that does that? Sect that does that is a uh, al ashariya, uh, al ashariya, al mu'tazila, uh, ashariya, ashariya matridiya, usually. Al ashariya or matridiya, people of tahrif. With me, yes, yes. Or you have something else there? So just uh, the question, I'll try to rephrase it. Uh, what I said, what I said was that the, the attributes of Allah, they, de they deny them, they do ta'atil of them by way of uh, by way of uh, tahrif, because they don't, they cannot exactly do tahrif of the Quran. So they, what they do is they deny the meaning of it. So they do tahrif. But what about what do they say when they deny the names? What do they say that? This mean this name means something, or what do they say about it? That this is not the name of Allah. How do they? That's what I'm saying here. If you don't understand these categories, we will not be able to know what is a tahrif and who who does a tahrif from the sex. What is a ta'atir and who who, who does the ta'atir from the from the these sex? What is the uh, tashvih and who who does it? And what is taqif? If we don't know the sex and their names. And their ideology will not be able. We said at tahrif means that you change the word by an or by you, by the Shaykh Sati Rahimullah. At tahrif no an. The tahrif is two, two times. First word. Tahriful Lafli. Hmm? The change that the people of Bid'am made in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the what's the dalil? He said, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa kallam Allahu Musa taklima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has talked to his what? Messenger Musa. Allah is the one who talked to him, right? So people of Bid'ah, they have aqidah which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot talk. They said if we say Allah, Allah talks, so this is a big problem. We talk and Allah talks. Allah is like us? When they say Allah is like us, oh, it's not Allah like us because Allah said, they said, Shay, hey, nothing like him. So how we can deal this ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to his messenger? Oh, what are we gonna do? They said, why don't we say this way? Wa kallam Allahu was dhamma on Allah, right? Allah is the fa'il. So we talk to Allah. Musa. Now they make jant. They said, Wa kallam Allah Musa. Why they put the fatha on Allah instead Bamba which is Allah? Huh? Now, when we say Allah, Allah is the one who talks to his messenger Musa. So Allah is the one who talks. And Musa hears them, the, the, the word of Allah. That's what they don't like. So what they did, how did they live? I they said, Allah. Musa, now they made the Musa the one who talks to Allah. By changing, by changing the, the Allah to, to Allah to Allah. By changing the word. By changing the haraka, the vowel. Changing the vowel, the whole meaning has changed. Something? 
That's called what? Tahrif al-Lafu. Tahrif al-Lafu. Changing word. Either take a vow or add another vow. The purpose of that is to gen the meaning which is suitable for their belief. You got the point, man? So these people are called Ahmadish huh? Tahrif. Another example, Shaykh here, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Thumma istawa ala al arsh. They said, Istawa ala al arsh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above of the throne. They said, The word istawa. That's what we do as a human being. How we can attribute to Allah istawa. So we have to deny the, the, the word. So they jumped to another one. What they said? Istawa. We jumped to the istawla. When you say istawla, the whole meaning, meaning has jumped. Means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dominated the ash. The ash was not belonged to right now, he dominated. So the difference between istawa and istawla. To, to become يعني, suitable for their aqidah, the meaning of istawa, they change to istawla. Those people so called Ahl al Tahrif. I believe it was Ibn Taymiyyah that said this is how foolish they are because uh, they say Allah dominates, we can also dominate. Yani they try to get away from Tahrif, but they still fall into the same thing that still human beings can do that. No. They say istawla. Allah, Allah dominates, mm -hmm. and then they say, "Kalam Allah Musa," but humans can also be spoken to. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Whenever they try to do something, there is some uh, uh, what they call mahbub. Another problems pop up. Whenever they run to one way, so much problems will come up, so they don't have any you know, solution for it. So this. Are really genuine. The Quran without hujjah. What is your hujjah to say? Is tawa to stola? Do you have any belief for that? Now, these people, they are just uh, misusing the Quran. And they want the Quran mixed up with the belief they have. And this is dangerous things. People of Bid'ah well know that they have aqidah or something they believe. Before they have believed, after they believe, they go to the Quran and Sunnah and they look for support. If they don't get support, they try to alternate and make a tagheer and change some ayat and hadith, and they say, This is our belief now. Unlike Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, they don't believe anything before they have the belief. When they see the belief, and the belief tells them to do or to believe things, that's the time they believe. That's the difference between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bidah. And also, the second type of Tahrif is what? Tahrif al Ma'na. The changing of the meaning. Now they're not changing the word, but they change the meaning. Now? Yes, Tawla would be counted as a Tahrif al Laf. That's what the Shaykh Tahrif al Laf Now. now. With the Tahrif of Allah, again, Waja'a Rabbuka. They said, Waja'a Rabbuka, Wal Malaku Safan Safan. Allah came while the angels are in the lines and rows. So they said, A'udhu Billah, how we can say Allah came? We came, we go. That's the human being action. How can I do it to Allah? So what are you going to do? Allah said, Waja'a Rabbuka in the Quran. What are you going to say? Oh, they said we're gonna put the word Wajaa Amru Rabbi. What are we gonna say? Wajaa Amru Rabbi. They put the word of Amr here. Who put this word in Amr? From themselves. No Allah put in there, not his prophet. Who put in there Amru Rabbi? These sects, these groups, and they want to 
every Quran and a Sunnah that comes with the Sifa of Allah, it has to be according to what they believe. So they take alternation, changing, aliyah, that's what they do. طيب. The second tahrif is a tahrif al ma'na ya ikhwan. What's the example for that? Qawlu ta'ala, wa kallama Allahu Musa taklima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has talked to Musa taklima. Taklim is a masdam, mu'akkim. So the Zarakhshari was mu'tazili. He changed this and he said, Kallama, the word of Kallama, the meaning of Kallama is it doesn't mean he talked to. It means what? He would. See? Because the Kallama, it comes from the meaning of he would and would. Someone hits you for something and he makes a mark. Uh, uh? Yes. He said, Allah Musa Allah He wounded him with the clothes of the wisdom. Is it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, They call clothes, right? The, the nails of the mother with the hikmah. The nails of the hikmah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has wounded him into his, his heart and fills up with the hikmah. So now everything changed. He want to deny that, that Allah talks to the Musa and he didn't mean it's not talking, it's not this. This is Jarrahahu bi al hikmah. The wisdom of Allah, the hikmah has a clothes and it hit his heart. Why he do this? Because he was not aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to his creation, his messengers. So that's the problem of people of Bid'ah. When it comes to ayat to sifat or hadith sifat, right? So this is kind of tagheer of ma'na. Are you with me, brothers? Some brothers lost? Who was the, who was the? We get, we, we're going to have another class. <laughs> Any brother who don't understand, maybe later on we can, inshallah. Because this subject is really very powerful. It involves sects and philosophies and uh, ideologies that, that you know, some sects have against the myth the Quran and the Sunnah with attributes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So we have to say something about it. Otherwise, you will never have, you know, full understanding of the subject, right? So the tahrir comes two times. Tahrir what? From the love and ma'na. And we said, uh, example for each of them, right? Tayyip. We got five minutes at ta'deel. Ta'deel. What is the ta'deel, ya khawalik Allah? Naam. Ta'deel. That a person said, we don't name Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala names, nor we give him attributes. Everything comes from the Quran and Sunnah, meaningless. They don't, they don't, Allah Aziz, Allah Hakim, Allah Sami, Allah Basir. All these, it has no, they said, Alimun Bila Ilm. And they negate the Sifa. Mu'tazila, for example, they said, Alimun Bila Ilm. They deny the Sifa. Jahmiya, they deny both of them. Laysu bi alim, wala bi sami' wala bi basir. Yaqulun, la nasibuhu innahu alim, wala nasibuhu laysu bi alim. We don't say he's a alim, and we don't say also he's not alim. 
is his ta'qeel. La naqul, we don't say he's a basir. At the same time, we don't say he's not basir. We don't say huwa mawjood. Wa laysa mawjoodah. Hada aqeelit huwa jahmizim. Jahmiyah was sharp kullu. At ta'qeel, قال العلماء ابن القيم رحمه الله ودر السر قال والتعطيل شرب من الشرب التعطيل شرب من الشرب is worse than the the mushrik and the shirk why the mushrik may believe the existence of Allah but he attributes someone else but the muattil he said جاهد للذات أو لكمالها وهو جهد لحقيقة الروحية. If you deny the existence of Allah, would you be worship? When you say, I don't say He exists, and I don't say He's not exist. هذا something nobody even can understand it. Does Allah exist? He said, I cannot say exist. Okay, if you say He's not exist, either I cannot say He not exist. So what do you believe? Zero. قال هذا شرب من الشرب. The Muslim said, "Is it Allah exists?" But he worship beside him someone else. Ibn Al Qayyim, rahimahullah. طيب. فإن ذاتا. He said, "فإن ذاتا لا تسمع ولا تبصر." ولا تغضب ولا ترضى ولا تفعل شيئا ليس داخل العالم ولا خارجه ولا متصل بالعالم بالعالم ولا منفصلا ولا فوقه ولا تحته ولا يمين ولا شمال. When they attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look what they do. They said he's not سميع he's not بصير uh, he don't he don't be angered you don't, you know, of bless. You don't do something. It's not inside the wall. It's not outside the wall. It's not uh, uh, attached with the wall. It's not be attached from the wall. It's not above the wall. It's not under the wall. It's not the the, the right side of the wall. It's not the uh, left side. When they attribute to Allah that way, He said, "That's the Adam. That's an end. That's nothing. Zero. So these people, they what? They worship something don't exist at all. And these people are called so-called Jahmi. This mawdu will be really uh, bring so much confusion, but we'll take it piece by piece, inshallah. Mm -hmm. We'll start with that now. The uh, theme is denial of attributes, or is it attributes and? al Jahmi, both. They don't attribute to Allah no name, and no sifa, both of them. يقولون ليس ليس بالسميع ولا بالبصير ولا بالعليم. Which means ليس له سمع ولا بصر ولا. They also call what? جهمية. جهمية they they deny أن معطلة الأسماء والصفات. If we add up the معتزلة, معتزلة what they believe? They attribute Allah only the names. But they denied the sifa. They said Allah is Alim. But they denied the sifa to Ilm. They said Alim bila Ilm. Qadir bila Qudra. Rada Rahim bila Rahma. Hakada. It's bad for Ism. They affirm to Allah the names and they negate from the sifa. And those so called Mu'tazila. So, so far we know what? Jahmiyyah, that they deny the names and attributes together. We know the Mu'tazila, they affirm to Allah the names and they deny and they negate the attributes. We'll go from there, inshallah, ala sha'ir and so on. Barakallahu feekum. Barakallahu feekum. Barakallahu feekum.